Hey everyone, I'm here today to talk with you about how I care for my curly wigs. This is a video that I have been meaning to make for so long and I've talked in other videos about how I wash my curly wigs, how I scrunch my curly wigs, but I don't think I've really ever just specifically focused on how I care for my curly wigs and that's what I want to do today because I get this question all the time and I know how intimidating it can be just wig wearing in general but then worrying about the care of them and how you um, make that investment last for as long as possible. So I'm using Girl Mono as my example today well, as I show you kind of the things I do with my curly wigs and the things that I don't do with my curly wigs. And I just so happen to have two Girl Monos in the same color and I'm going to show you this one which is a much loved Girl Mono and a brand new one that's never been worn before. I did do an, a, a video about a year ago. Um, it was an old and new Girl Mono comparison and in that one I was using Chocolate Rooted. Uh, so if you haven't seen that one please check it out. Um, but I'll touch on some of the same things as far as how they have worn. Um, but I, I want this video to be more about how I care for my curly wigs. So let's just get into this. First of all, I do not comb my curly wigs really ever. Um, unless it's a very relaxed wave, I think about like Ocean by Aesthetica has a very relaxed wave. I will comb Ocean. I also have Zinnia, um, it, formerly of Sintress, and now it's a Tress Allure wig called Mid-Length Beach Waves. That one, I haven't released a video on that one yet, but I do comb through Zinnia, and that's more of a relaxed wave, not really a curl. For wigs that have true curl, I do not comb them. And I get uh, questions about that all the time and people are often really shocked. They can't believe I don't comb my curly wigs and they wonder how they don't get just so tangled and like rat's nests. And all I can tell you is my preference in a curly wig, I don't worry about the tangles. I want curl. I want the curl to be maintained. Um, I'm not worried about getting a comb through them. I have never had them um, turn um, kind of ratty looking. So I'm not sure what goal, um, when people ask that question, I'm not sure what goal they're trying to achieve. Maybe they just really have it in their head that you have to be able to comb through um, wigs to somehow keep them in good condition. And I just haven't found that to be true with curly wigs. What I will do sometimes is take a wide tooth comb and I'll gently smooth over the top layer, like super gently if I feel like it's getting really unruly, but it's really that very top layer and I'm not combing all the way through. And so um, that's about the most I will ever do with this girl mono that I have on right now is in the color Hot Hazelnut Mix. I have had this girl mono for over a year, about a year and about, about a year and a half actually. Um, I have uh, worn this one about, I'm probably in the 45 to 50 time range at this point, and I think she's been washed about four times potentially. So this one is just going, going, going. The same thing happened with my Girl Mono and Chocolate Rooted. I still pull that one out and wear it sometimes, even though I have a brand new one in a box. I just like the way that these Girl Mono wigs wear over time. I like the way that they relax just a little, but still maintain some of this curl. Can you see? It's just, it's not super curly, but it's just got this beautiful wavy curl. I also really just find that these fibers are awesome and they last so long. So let me tell you how I care for them. I barely do anything to them. To be totally honest with you, I do not like spraying product on my synthetic wigs. I rarely, rarely do it. You will get all kinds of opinions on this and I'm not saying mine is the right way to go. This is what I do and it works for me. I. Um, so I wear my Girl Mono. I rarely put any product of any sort in her. Um, as she's getting older, sometimes I'll put a little, like I might use some of this um, Brandywine Volumizing Mousse that I've had forever if she's starting to get a little frizzy and starting to look a little messy and that can happen if I'm getting close to needing a wash. And I do try to go as many wears as I can before I wash. I just washed this Girl Mono um, I probably worn her twice since I washed her last and I think I had worn her 13 or 14 times 
um, before she got a wash. That water was dirty. I really needed to wash her. It was so satisfying though to see that dirty water knowing I'm getting her clean. And she feels amazing. Um, yes, she feels a drier than, than a brand new girl mono, but she doesn't feel like straw and she doesn't look like straw she looks amazing and this is just going and going and going and I do attribute that to not doing much to her I don't think synthetic fibers need to be coated with anything every time you wear them I really don't that's not been my experience the most I will typically do if I've worn her a few times and I'm thinking she's starting to look a little uh I will spray her with water I will shake her upside down, I will scrunch her, and I will hang her back there. And that's what I do with my curly wigs. I may or may not spray them. I almost always hang them upside down after wearing them, but I may or may not spray them. And I really try to use water more than anything else. I have got so many products, you guys. Like, literally, I have so many products. And I just don't find that anything works that great um, on a daily basis. I think the wigs start to look old and dry faster the more stuff you use on them. So I just don't. And like I said, I don't comb my curly wigs. If I wanted to relax the curl, combing would be a good way to do that. Depending on how curly they are, you could also make it frizzy. So let me just show you really quick. And then, and then to wash them, again, Personal preference is so key here, and sometimes there's just no substitute to experimenting. I have tried a lot of different shampoos, and there's some that I don't mind. I have the Aesthetica Wet Line Shampoo and Conditioner, and I think they're fabulous. I really like that, that them a lot. Um, but what I love and what I use more often than not is my Belmadam balm or balsam on their website it's called they have balm but it has both on the tag that's the conditioner and then my Balmadam shampoo I just love these products I really do the only place I buy them is continental wigs in the UK um, I haven't found them for sale here in the United States and so I just buy from there and it works great it's not super expensive to do it that way um, but you really have to figure out what works best for you some people have talked about using wool light and fabric softener because this is fabric um, I did try that early on I didn't really like it um, I, to be fair, I didn't use it a whole lot. Once I discovered the Belmadam products pretty early on, I've just been sold on them. So I'd say, you know, experiment a little bit, but, um, you know, it's just, it's so many factors. It's how do you store your wigs? It's how do you, do you ever wear your wigs cooking? If they start to get really dry and frizzy, did you get some heat on them? I mean, I just think there's a lot that can happen. You'll hear from some people that in order to keep the curls nice, you should put them back in the hairnet and then either lay them in their box or you can put them on a wig form with the hairnet to keep those curls supported. That probably works great. It makes sense to me um, that gravity will have, impact curls. I haven't done that. I just find hanging them upside down works just fine for me. And if I find I'm not wearing a wig within a week or two, I just put it back in its box. I try not to leave wigs out for too long if I'm not wearing them. I do find that keeps them a lot better, keeping them out of the household air, especially in the winter. If you live in a climate that gets really dry, and as I do in Minnesota, it gets super dry here in the winter. I do find that negatively impacts my wigs if I leave them out for an extended period of time. So I do store them in their boxes. I think that makes a huge difference. I really do. So let me show you my brand new Girl Mono in the same color. And I have studied this one to try to see the differences. A huge difference is this one looks shorter. And I know why, because the curls are springier. They're just more springy and more bouncy. And those curls have relaxed a lot. After that many wears, they've relaxed a ton. So right away, I know that the curls are a little springier and she looks shorter. Um, the fibers just feel super soft and silky. These, they feel okay. I mean, they're definitely, um, I, w I wear this and think, wow, this wig still feels so great. Then I compare it to a brand new one and I realize it doesn't feel so great. But just on a daily basis, it feels fine to me. I don't have any concern and she looks 
fabulous. She, you know, that's the other thing I, I want to say is that how the fibers feel to you are not is not necessarily indicative of how it looks to other people. A wig can feel dry to you and look tremendous to the eye. So keep that in mind. I mean, I think, you know, when we set our expectations correctly, there's a lot less disappointment. So I'd say for this brand new one, it's a little curlier. It's definitely looking a little short, shorter. I'm pretty sure it's just because these curls have, are they're just newer and they haven't relaxed. And I just love Girl Mono. Everything about it, I just love Girl Mono. I do tend to like these. I'm finding better after some wearing. Um, I like the front to relax just a little bit. Um, not enough to ever comb it. <laughs> um, but I definitely think that there is something to be said with kind of breaking in a wig. And while Girl Mono doesn't have a ton of permatees at all, she's got a little bit of crimpy fiber, but I almost say she doesn't have any permatees because I, I really don't think she has much. Um, and so it's not the permatees that needs to settle. It's just that after a bunch of wears, it almost just settles into your head. And so I love this Girl Mono. I wear it all the time. The other thing that I have noticed with wigs after a period of time, I do think the fibers get duller. Um, I noticed that when I compared the colors. This one is a more vibrant auburn. This one's just a little duller. Um, it could be just, I don't know, the coating wearing off. I don't know. But I've noticed that. I noticed that in my chocolate rooted as well. I didn't see it until I compared a new one and an old one. So that's something that can happen. Um, so when I wash my wigs, I just fill a sink full of water. I put in the shampoo directly into the water. I mix it all up and then I dunk the wig. I put it in, I get it soaking wet, and then I just pick it up and down, up and down, and I dunk it like 30 times. And I sometimes will let it sit for a little while, 5-10 minutes. I'll dunk it a few more times, and then I'll rinse it really, really well. Then I fill the sink up again. It's always with cool water, cool or cold. And then I put in the balsam straight into the water, about a tablespoon. And then I mix that all around and I do the same thing. And then I'll let the wig soak depending on my, t I've left wigs in there for three, four hours. People will tell you if you get conditioner on the cap that it could loosen the knots on the wigs. That's probably true. I've never experienced that. I've left plenty of wigs sitting in that conditioning water for hours and hours. I'm not recommending that you do that. I'm just saying I have and I haven't had any issues. And then I take it out. You don't rinse this once you soaked it in this. You don't rinse it. Then I just stick it in a towel. I squeeze. I don't wring. I don't rub. I kind of roll it in a towel. I squeeze a little bit to just absorb some of that extra water. And then I take and I shake out by the tag, by the nape in my shower. I shake off the excess water. Then I scrunch it, just scrunch the fibers, hanging it upside down. And I've shown this in videos as well. I hang it upside down and then I just scrunch and scrunch. And then I hang it upside down by a laundry hook, which I have here, and I just get them on Amazon. I can link it in the description. I just hang it by the tag and I let it dry. And I'll, I'll peri if I have time and I'm around, I'll periodically come and I'll scrunch a little bit more while it's wet. That's what I do. And my curly wigs do really, really well. They last, um, they don't get, tangled they don't feel like they're getting old before their time um, so I you know that's just what I do people will tell you that you should spray them with leave-in conditioner between wears that you should use things like this simply style in which I really do like on the um, ends if if I feel that the wig is starting to feel frizzy or start to look frizzy I'll put a little bit of product on it I just, that's not my first go-to. My first go-to is just water. And so far, it has worked great for me. So I'm not knocking products. I'm just telling you what I do. And I have a lot of them and I do every now and then, you know, I have this really good smelling wig and weave, this tangerine, mango tangerine. I'll spray it just because I really like the smell and it freshens up the wig a little bit. So I'm not saying I never do it, but it's definitely not often and it's definitely the exception rather than the rule. So that's what I have to say about caring for my curly wigs. If you have questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help. I'd love to answer them. If you have techniques that you use to care for your curly wigs, 
please share them in the comments. That is where the magic happens because then we get a conversation going and people help each other. So please share what you do. Um, mine is just one person's journey and it's definitely, I mean, I've only been doing this for about 20 months now. Definitely, I'm not even at the two year mark. I may, you know, learn more and make a video in a year and I'm doing something totally different. But this is where I am now and it's working for me. So thank you for asking the questions, those of you who have asked. And if there's anything more I can do, let me know. And I, I like suggestions. I do keep a little note, note app in my phone. And when I get suggestions for videos or ideas, I jot them in there so that I can eventually get to it. All right, guys, this is long enough. I'll talk to you soon. Hope you're really, ha just hope you're having a great week. And um, thank you so much for being here. It means everything to me that you guys are here and that you're participating in this wig sisterhood and in the conversation. So please don't stop. I'll talk to you soon.